Social media has never been more popular. People like to see what the response is to their own post, as well as what their followers are saying. But in recent months, one social media platform, Twitter, has come under fire because of computerized accounts that try to engage people on controversial topics. Who's real and who is not on Twitter? These two students say they have the answer. Ash Bott and Rowan Pate are childhood friends and now students at the University of California, Berkeley. They created a program that analyzes whether a specific Twitter account is likely a bot, short for robot. In terms of numbers of accounts that we've classified, we've classified over 200,000 suspicious accounts now, um, which, is, which has been insane. It's really interesting to see how like, the network actually reacts. Yeah. So th this is an example of an account that seems like pretty sus uh, suspicious in terms of bot-like activity. The account was uh, created pretty recently. Uh, this is something that we see often with bots. Their, num their following and followers number will be uh, pretty similar. When you look at the proportion of like tweets to retweets, the account actually has a majority of retweets. The indictment charges 13 Russian nationals. Bots are in the news because of the 50,000 accounts that Twitter linked to ongoing Russian propaganda efforts in the U.S. The student's suggestion? Before you start arguing or agreeing with a stranger on social media, take a breath and download their program, Botcheck Me, to check whether a stranger is a computer or a real person. So in this case, the propaganda bot-like patterns were found. Um, instead of being aggravated, you can find out that it's a bot and stop engaging. Twitter is also cracking down on malicious bot accounts, but new, even more sophisticated ones keep popping up. You can sort of see these uh, bots evolve, and the scary thing for us is like, if we aren't like keeping up with like the, their technological pro progress, like uh, we're, we're it, at some point it's going to be impossible to tell the difference, right? My shoes on, is that... The students hope they can stay one step ahead and help people figure out what's real and what's fake. Michelle Quinn, VOA News, San Francisco.